terrific crowd assembling for the matchup tonight. And it's an important game for TCU if they want to keep on winning and keep on playing. The Horn Frogs, number seven, the number six seed in this tournament, taking on the second seeded Baylor Bears. This is an elimination game in this tournament. There's a ball driven that's going to tail into the corner in right field, and that gets away from Herring. It's going to rattle around just a little bit, and TCU's going to take a lead. Here comes Oviedo. He scores, and in with a stand-up triple is Hunter Wolf, and TCU, with its fourth hit of the game, leads this elimination game over Baylor. Nobody out, one run already in. Well, the fortunate thing for Baylor there is this ball is ripped into right field through a base hit by Josh Watson. That drives in Hunter Wolf, and TCU leads it two to nothing. Eskinos is a guy that's got plenty of arm. That ball belted right back up the middle by Austin Henry. His third hit of this Big 12 tournament. It drives in a run. That scores Watson. Ended up going the next year in the third round. On a line to right field, that's caught. This could be a double play. Here comes the throw to first, and Henry straight too far off and couldn't get back in time. Championship since 2012. There's a ball driven to left center field. That's going to fall and get past and roll to the wall. Lofton is sprinting to second, and he's not going to stop. He's on his way to third, and he's going to make it way ahead of the throw, and it's a leadoff triple for Baylor as they try to get on the board. He's at the plate right now, not behind the plate, and he drives this high and deep to right center field. That is going to be deep enough to bring in Lofton, and Baylor is on the board on that sacrifice fly. There's a ball driven to right center field that is going to fall, and it gets past Herring and rolls to the fence. More extra bases for TCU. Kiefer's touch second. He's on his way to third. He'll make it easily, and we've got another triple in this ball game in that three-run third. That gets away from Langoliers, and that's going to bring the run in from third. And TCU was taking a four-to-one lead. A wild pitch brings in Adam Kiefer, who had tripled earlier in the inning. Oh. Driven to right field. That's a base hit. Is it an RBI? Here comes the throw. The runner to the plate slides, and the throw is cut off. And Hunter Wolf makes that two-out walk pay off for TCU, who now leads five-to-one. The Bears' Cole Herring. Ball's hit well, finding the corner, ricocheting around. That ball is launched high. It's deep. It's got some wind behind it. It doesn't need it. It's gone. Swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, or two of them in the inning, I should say, for Daniel Caruso. So in the resumption of this elimination game, Daniel Caruso works a 1-2-3 eighth inning for the Baylor Bears. That's a base hit into center. What an at-bat for Davis Wenzel. Oviedo tried to get over there to it, but out of his reach. Finished things off for the Horn Frogs. This yes. might do it. Fly ball to right. Kiefer gently drifts in, and the Horn Frogs survive in advance. It took about 14 hours to finally get it finished off. But TCU is moving on to face Oklahoma State later in the day. Their chances of winning a Big 12 championship are still alive and kicking.